In this video, I want to quickly talk about this Eye of the Storm event, mainly how to do these tasks in the Eye of the Storm event. So I'm quickly going to go over them. We're going to go from the easiest tasks to the hardest tasks. So let's get right into it. The one at the bottom requires you to have 15 battles in Pirate Coves. So if you don't know, the Pirate Coves are simply these things here. This is a Pirate Cove. This is a pirate cove and so on. It's called pirate fort here, but it's also known as a pirate cove. So you simply attack a player 15 times there. So you can tell someone to send like a thousand troops to the fort and then attack them 15 times with one biker and you'll be done with this quest. In the same way, there's this leader had five battles in the large shipwreck which also is similar. If you have someone occupying the large shipwreck, someone from another city, you can send five marches to that shipwreck with one biker each, and you'll be done with this quest. Or if you're occupying the shipwreck, then you can ask someone to attack the shipwreck five times, and you'll be done with this quest. Then there's this uh, leader obtained 100,000 war day points in storm sites. This requires you to trade 10,000 tier 10 bikers in this event. So basically, one player will send 10,000 tier 10 bikers to a pirate fort, and then the other player will attack attack that player and kill their 10,000 bikers. Then the other player will send 10,000 bikers to a pirate fort, and the other player will kill those 10,000 bikers, and that way both sides get 100,000 war day points in this event. So that's how you do this. Then there's Pirate Predator, which, success, which says successfully recapture Pirate Cove from enemies five times. So basically to do this, what you need to do is you need to capture these forts that are occupied by other cities or that say neutral occupation. So for example, this one right here is occupied by my own city, so I can't recapture this. However, this one here is a neutral occupation, so I can capture this and this will count towards that task. If this was occupied by some other city, I, I would be able to capture this and this would also count towards the task as well. And finally, the last one that you have is known as Dem uh, Dynamite Expert. And this says the leader's, pir the leader's pirate cove successfully sent 25 demolition pirates and dealt damage to the enemy. So basically what you need to do for this is if you look at these uh, pirate coves, you'll notice that there is this demolition ops time. Right now it's 30 seconds. And basically what happens once this 30 second countdown reaches zero is it'll send a pirate to this shipwreck. So what you want to do is you want to occupy this before this countdown reaches zero so that when the pirate is sent, your ops are inside this pirate's cove. So right now it's at four, three, two, one, and now you see this, uh, it sent a pirate, right? So once it sends a pirate, you will get points if your ops is inside the fort. If you don't have any troops inside the fort, then you won't get any points. Also, if you've already occupied a fort so for example right now it sent a pirate and now i still uh, it's still occupied by me right there's another cooldown here of about eight minutes however if i wait eight minutes for the second pirate to be sent out i won't get any points because it only gives you points for the first pirate so basically what you want to do is you want to go to one of these neutral occupations that are about to reach the demolition ops time, send your troops to them, and then once the pirate is sent, you want to recall them. And then after about 15 minutes, they'll again become neutral occupations if nobody attacks them. So basically, don't attack your own city's pirate coves to get points for this task. If you want to get points for this task, you have to find neutral occupations and then keep your ops inside till this demolition ops time reaches zero. Once the demolition ops time reaches zero, um, a pirate will be sent out and you'll get one point for this task. 
and you have to do this 25 times. So basically you have to capture 25 pirate coves and then you'll be done with this task. So this, this one's a bit time consuming. All the other ones are pretty easy to complete. And it's also the most confusing task in this event, which is why I'm making this video. So again, I'm quickly gonna explain what you need to do. You need to occupy either a neutral occupation or a pirate cove that's been occupied by another city and then wait till the demolition ops time reaches zero. Once the demolition ops time reaches zero, a pirate will be sent to the center and you'll immediately get points. You don't need to wait for the pirate to reach the center. You can recall your troops immediately after the pirate is sent out. Now, if you don't recall your troops and you keep your troops inside, then for the next pirate that's sent out after like 10 more minutes, you won't get any extra points for this task. So you only get points if you occupy a neutral occupation or another city's occupation. But if you keep your troops inside the same occupation of your city, only the first pirate will give you points. All the other future pi pirates won't give you any points. So I hope I've made it clear how to do these Eye of the Storm tasks in the Seven Seas event. If you have any more questions, then leave them in the comments down below. That's all I had for this video. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.